NBC7's Nightly Check-In is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. We know how. A historic night as coronavirus vaccines arrive around the country, including here in San Diego. It is the start of a nationwide vaccination effort and what many hope is the beginning of the end to this pandemic. Everybody feels that way, right? Thanks for joining us. This is the Nightly Check and I'm Mark Mullins. So San Diego County received just over 28,000 COVID-19 vaccines this morning. For us to get them, as you probably know by now, will be local frontline medical workers. My arm is ready. I'm ready. So Dr. Davey Smith is one of the frontline workers that will get the vaccine. He's part of a team at UC San Diego that decided which healthcare workers would get it first. Right now, there are only enough doses to cover about 72% of frontline health care workers. Each of the local health care systems like UC San Diego, Scripps, Palomar Health and more have put in their requests based on their individual needs. Over the past week and a half, uh, UCSD and the VA and other places have made lists of uh, who should get the vaccine first in terms of their risk and importance to the healthcare infrastructure in general. By getting the vaccine, it adds a, another level of uh, uh, security and confidence in the whole system and uh, hopefully will uh, reinvigorate us. Dr. Smith says vaccines at UC San Diego will be administered starting Wednesday. Meanwhile, separate from the 28,000 vaccines for San Diego County, the military received an unspecified number of doses today at Naval Medical Center San Diego. Frontline personnel there will begin vaccinations, we understand, tomorrow. Los Angeles ICU nurse Helen Cordova had the unique distinction of becoming the first person in California to get the vaccine. Governor Gavin Newsom was at Kaiser Los Angeles Medical Center today to be present for the first round of vaccines to be administered in the state. The shipment arrived at LAX in the early morning hours from Pfizer's Michigan plan. In all, there were 327,600 doses on board. The vaccines will now be distributed to hospitals throughout the state, but only ones that have freezers, of course, that can accommodate the ultra low temperatures of about 94 degrees below zero, which is necessary to preserve the integrity of those vaccines. The CDC says people who are pregnant or nursing should not get the COVID-19 vaccine. Public health officials say there's simply not enough information to recommend the vaccines at this point for pregnant and nursing mothers because they were not included in the clinical trial. That means more than 300,000 U.S. healthcare workers who are currently pregnant will not be vaccinated, at least in phase one. However, Dr. Anthony Fauci says the first vaccine trials on pregnant people could begin next month. Vaccine trials for children are also expected to start next month. As of early this month, uh, more than 1.4 million kids have tested positive for COVID-19. Well, health experts say children typically experience less severe symptoms and are likely less uh, to be hospitalized. They still can spread the virus, so it's important to keep your kids home if they are sick. We want to keep kids from getting together in large groups. In fact, keep trying to keep your family from getting together in large groups because we're clearly on an upswing. Health officials say it's unlikely a vaccine will be ready for kids by the start of next school year, but we'll have to wait and see. Tonight, some business owners are banding together to, to defy the public health order by continuing in-person dining. We have a family with the kids, and this guy, they told me, Maurizio, what are we going to do when we have lockdown? I need to work a little bit shift. I don't care to pay the rent, honestly, but I need to put some food, some bread on the table for my child. Maurizio Carboni is the owner of Maurizio Trattoria in Encinitas. He's one of many owners participating in a peaceful protest, is how they're calling it, by keeping indoor operations open despite receiving several warnings. We did speak to some business owners who think differently. Sandra Cardat, who runs Havana Grill in Claremont Mesa, says the defiant business owners are being irresponsible. We all are suffering through this, but if we don't do it together, what good is it? It's like wearing a seatbelt just some of the time. You have to wear the seatbelt all the time for it to be effective. And with this virus, it's the same thing. We all have to cooperate together in order to get this virus under control. San Diego County Sheriff's deputies were seen patrolling in Carlsbad over the weekend. Cease and desist orders were issued to some businesses there. Carlsbad police also have now arrested a 17 year old suspected in the murder of 68 year old Lisa Thorberg. Thorberg was hiking on Hosp Grove Trail November 23rd when she was stabbed to death. Police say they made an arrest 
on a Carlsbad beach at 3.30 this afternoon. The investigation is ongoing. No additional suspects are believed to be outstanding. In the meantime, let's check in with we uh, Dagmar for your weather, which has been absolutely beautiful. Looking at your Tuesday, you will see clear skies in the wake of the system that brought us just to some, a little bit of rain, but measurable rain in those morning hours for Monday. So now clear skies and behind, but you'll notice clear and slightly cooler skies. So mid to upper 60s on average for the coast, you'll be in the inland valley zones under mostly sunny skies at about 70. That's beautiful mountains. You're going to be on the chillier side, mid to upper 40s, but also clear skies and seeing the deserts at about 70 or so. And again, also mostly sunny skies. So lots of clearing in the wake of the system brought us a little bit of rain on Monday morning. We'll take it now. Enjoy this as a beautiful Tuesday. NBC7's Nightly Check-In is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. We know how. For over 40 years, this company has evolved from a small drain company to a large family business. We will continue to enhance and exceed our customers' expectations through technology and superior customer service. Thank you, San Diego. So we're just 10 days until Christmas Eve. 10 days, and the scramble to deliver packages on time is happening right now. The Disney Store, Kohl's, GameStop, and H&M all are warning gifts bought today with standard shipping will not arrive before Christmas. Tomorrow is the deadline for on time ground delivery with UPS, FedEx and the Postal Service. After that, you have until Friday to send through first class mail with the U.S. Postal Service and then next Monday for three day shipping with FedEx and UPS. But those options may cost more than the gift itself. This holiday season, some small businesses are seeing a boost in sales due to a shift in shopping trends. Companies like Amazon have the perception of being the two-day shipping and super efficient. A lot of small businesses can do that exact same or better. Another tip to keep in mind before you ship, make sure to use the right box size, which will save you some money. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. I'm Mark Mullen. Be safe. Have a good night.